Hello everyone and welcome to the starting episode of Let's Play Medieval Engineers and also a beginner's tutorial on how to play this awesome construction and engineering game. This is really, really amazing. I have this game for, for a quite a long time and I played this um, back in the beginning but the game has changed so much that I wanted to give this a try. Alright, we are going to start not with safe area, not with arena start but with wild start. This is starting in the wilds, no safe area, and there are landmarks to explore. We are going to go here, and one of the things, obviously, this is going to be survival. Let me just change the name over here so I know that this is YouTube uh, for the series. I'm going to make this private so I can invite people in if we want to do that later in the future. Um, we are going to extend this to 10 minutes. Um, advanced settings, I'm going to enable X spectator there and uh, all the rest is the same uh, there's going to be hostile AI uh, and we're going to set up mods basically this is almost vanilla but I really like to have water uh, in my maps uh, and I have downloaded this I'm, I'm also playing this on on some servers with friends and uh, it's really nice to have water around so I'm going to activate that I'm not sure if um, the selected planet actually this is the default doesn't support a, a model planet this scenario, the wild start, but basically I think it's going to to catch up. We're going to see if that works actually. Alright, let's just start. And uh, the idea basically um, for this beginner's tutorial part uh, of the Let's Play is going to be to follow all of the, um, of the quests and the tutorials that the game is going to actually be um, uh, obviously presented here. Skip tutorial no, we are not going to skip it. Um, do you want to start the tutorial again? Yes. So we are going to do this because the game actually provides you quite nice um, tutorial in the beginning. And um, let me see my character. Oh, look at this. I'm a woman. I'm a, I'm a female engineer over here. Oops. There we are. Let me look at me. All right. Um, I'm going to do... One thing, I'm pressing she here because I already know this uh, and I'm going to do this because I really like to have my expressions. This is the most important part in the game, having expressions and be able to do hello guys. Yes, that's why my waves and facepalm. <laughs> All right, guys, um, let's just go again here and start doing this. So you can see over there that we have step one of six, humble beginnings. Start by making a stone axe. So we have to obtain three wooden sticks and one small stone. And I might I might play like this for a while. So we have tiny small trees and I don't want to, to destroy the small trees but we are going to see if we can get some bushes that there are plenty of it around here. So let's just get some stuff from this bush. Also that. It says that we can get stuff from here. Look at this. The hand over there. Um, as you can see, when you collect this steel bush over there, and we are getting that, um, there are faces here. Let me go into first person so you can see. So we have the bush there, we collect there, and only remains the kind of the roots of the of the thing. You can see there. When you get those those roots, um, what you are going to be getting is obviously you get some some wooden sticks for that. And also you get roots that you can use to craft some, some food on your own. Um, it's good to know, uh, but when you do that, you actually destroy the, um, the plant itself. Okay, we are grabbing that stone too. And now we have enough things, as you see there, to craft our, our initial uh, stone axe. You click I on the keyboard and then you can select here the stone axe you see that you need those stuff, we have that in our inventory, so we can press craft now. There we are. Rumor says there is copper nearby. Alright. Good. You can see that we have the, the bar down there. And what I did at the beginning is basically you can see that um, there's one, two, three, there are numbers over there. We can, we can choose. You click one, you press one, and actually you get the the axe uh, and if you click control one control two control three you change um, 
the quick bar over there so you can you can actually buy more stuff okay now we need to go and um, follow the pick up pick sack picks picks axe marker over there and we are going to find the mark or vein so basically we're going to follow this um, this tutorial it's going to to help us do plenty of things in game this is basically what you need to do guys um, obviously the video is not um, it's, it's providing some hints obviously but if you follow this on your own you're going to be pretty much uh, safe in the beginning um, so and this is all that you need to do uh, the game improve a lot I think this is really really nice to have the um, uh, this this kind of tutorials uh, this is really really an improvement on the game uh, it's awesome so there we are we have we complete an objective press I to include your axe and left click to swing it <laughs> not there obviously we need to obtain two logs um, we're going to thumb down some of these trees. Let's just go and do this. Berry bush. We're going to talk about the berry bush soon. There we are. We're going to leave that to fall. And um, we need to obtain two logs. Once you knock it down, you just click here. And you're going to get it. With F, you can pick this up. We are going to do the same in this part. There we are. Cool. Now we need to craft a crafting table, obviously. That's what we need to do. And uh, we are going to stay around here. Let me check the map. So, this is the area where we spawn. There's no roads or anything close by. Um, don't we want to, to start doing this? Because once you start doing this thing, um, it's going to take it's going to actually take some time to move to to certain other areas let me let me see if I can glimpse I think there's copper over there not copper maybe maybe iron you see that that patch of, of, of land over there that seems like it's a little bit reddish that's um, a way to know if we have iron down so this is this might be important the other thing is being close to a road is uh, is kind of nice too so basically what we i'm going to do this let's just continue chopping down this we are going to i want to be close to the to the road basically i'm going to get everything from um, from this tree everything that i did here I don't want you to leave anything behind of this. What's that sound? It sounded like another tree kind of fell down, but it's not the case. <laughs> All right, let's just do this. And um, we are going to, to move to, where are we? We are there? No. Ah, here is where we are. All right. Why well, I'm looking there? Because it's it's clicked there. So this is the place that we are, and we are not that far away from the road. Look at that. This area looks nice. We are going to be a little bit closer to the um, to the road, I think. I like that there's mountains over here. Maybe maybe we can go over this. Maybe this too. So let's just go north west it's around there those mountains so let's just go over there before we we craft anything else um, let me talk about the the stamina the, the health stamina and and handle bars over there I'm going to sprint if you click if you press shift you're going to start sprinting and you can see that the stamina now goes down a little bit faster uh, that's obviously because we are running uh, there are plenty of of, of, uh, of trees over here. That's really really nice. I like to be close to the woods when we do these things. Northwest. There's also 
Look at this. We are close to the road. Awesome. And maybe we can build close to here. Let me see around this area. This is also nice. This is also a nice area over here that we can use to craft. We have the road and we have woods over there, woods, woods over there. I'm not sure where we are going to find iron over here. It seems like it's not reddish, it's just brown. What we found, but we can we can do some exploration. There's something over there, but maybe it's copper only. Um, all right, let's just craft our our table over here. Let's just see what we have. Yeah, we have copper already here. That's nice. We can dig over there too. All right, we are going to start doing our things in this place. Maybe a little bit closer to the to the woods, maybe. Because we are, we are not going to be expanding too much in the beginning. So we are going to stay around here. We are close to the, to the road. And we are going to say to this game, to this guy here, our girl actually, it's not a guy, it's a girl. So we need to do, we need a log for creating our first crafting table. So we are going to see that this here now is a little bit different. We have to, um, yeah, we can craft there because we don't have the, um, the crafting table yet. I was confusing myself. So basically this is the same that we did for the for the axe. We're crafting that and now we are going to have that in our inventory. We have it now placed automatically there so it's number three. And see how there's like a uh, like a shadowy white thing over there. That's what's basically doing. It's marking the cell that we are, that it's this one. Um, so we are going to be building inside that thing. All right, and you can place this um, in whichever direction and place that, that you want. If you if you press Control and you use your mouse mouse wheel, you can kind of bring it back, bring it a little bit closer to you. Then you can use Q and E uh, to kind of rotate it a little bit. So we are going to just drop it there. There we are. Awesome. Now we need to move a log to the crafting inventory table. Uh, and uh, make some some crafting of timber over there. So once we are here, we press F. And now this is a little bit different because we need to put one log in the crafting table here in the area. You can do this by just um, uh, control click. It's going to just move. Control actually moves half of what you have, what we are pointing, and with shift you move everything. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, pressing shift on my keyboard and I'm clicking only one of this and it moves everything out if I click shift and I click here it moves everything in that's basically how, how it works uh, now that we do this we need to craft some timbers so we are going to craft let's just say one, two and three and it's going to use what we have here and start putting some timbers so basically one log gives you eight timber there we are. You can leave this running um, and um, it's going to continue on its own. And then you can get all of that there. So we need to craft a bed. Basically the, the bed is really, really important because what, what it will allow you to do is uh, to have a spawn point. So we need to craft a bed. The bed obviously is going to be craft here. You click there and we need two timber for doing this. So we are going, let's just see. I'm pressing Ctrl here and I'm going to click uh, over here and only transfer half of what is in this stack. So we have two over there and this is already selected. I click Craft and I get the bed over there. That's nice. And I have the bed already in number four and I'm going to just place it next to, the, to this over here. So we have the bed and once you approach, you can claim the bed by clicking F. Bed of the survivor. All right, perfect. So this is really important. Now, if we die somewhere around here, we are going to just spawn on the bed in this place. Um, small chests can be crafted at crafting tables. Awesome. So we need to do that too. What do we need for a small chest? We need two more of this. So 
if you if you shift click it doesn't matter um, you can have obviously more more inventory things there and we can craft it's going to use only what is required then we do this and, and that and we are going to place number five I like to put it like see that you can put it there but I'm going to kind of bury it a little bit and boom there we are just in the feet of the dead all right and we can place some stuff over here for example some of the roots and and this works in the same way if you press shift it's going to just move everything that you have uh, for that there now we need to craft one small stockpile of lamba so let's just do that basically is to start managing your inventory this is really uh, really nice too and this is one what do we need for that we need four now timbers so we are going to control click here and craft there we are and now we have that in number six um, I'm going to put this maybe maybe here close to the trees a little bit um, and then we are what we can do in in this if you if you click there it, this is for lumber so basically it's not going to allow us to put any of the pine tree logs but the the lumber is what you process from the logs so you can store all this um, uh, timbers over there that are processed and this is how it, how they look there we are awesome we are going to leave that there um, craft one with a mallet we are going to leave those there and we are going to come here let me see what do we need for a mallet obviously we need some timbers right we are going to get more timbers from the only log that we have left let's just get some more timbers over there and uh, once we have that now we can craft a mallet we need what wooden sticks so we need this and this we put it on the crafting table and now check the mallet and we craft there we are and now we have the mallet there and the quest says press G to open the general search screen and add the wooden support block to your toolbar and you can press she also this is this is she um, wooden support block this is the one that that you need i usually like to go to the um, have like a secondary um, quick bar over there for building and I'm, I'm putting that there and this one i kind of leave it for all my tools and maybe quick placement of things but basically all the i have like special uh, quick parts for that uh, all right, we did what what it, what the what the tutorial said over there. I'm going to close this book. Look at how this looks. So basically, this is going to be the uh, the base uh, uh, block for constructing our our buildings over here. And I'm going to click shade here because this is really nice. This is all the quests that we have, and this is what we what we already started, right? Uh, we placed, we crafted some timber. Uh, chests and that stuff uh, we are doing this quest that is called spring cleaning and then you have a description over here this is really nice um, we are going to place one of those wooden supports let's just place it let's say maybe maybe around here let's just go control 2 click 1 and uh, we are going to place it maybe there build one wooden support now we need to build this and uh, to build this thing we need to actually equip the mallet and start knocking this down as you can see when you when, when we point over here it actually shows us what this is and what we need to complete so basically is um, we need four timbers and we have seven on our inventory that, those seven and we need wooden sticks we have eleven on our uh, on our inventory and the other two numbers is how many of them the first is how many we placed um, the second one is how many we need actually by doing this we already placed the only one wooden stick that we need this is at 20% and we start clicking and you see it's, it's advancing now we already placed um, uh, 
uh, all of the of the timber is there but now we, we still need to hit it a little bit more it's not adding anything but it's just completing the build process and uh, now you can mostly see it complete it and then there's a at 100 percent press right click to deconstruct we are not going to do that um, so now we have a tutorial completed open the research screen and unlock additional blocks if you press k now we have this is really really cool because mostly what we are going to do there here it's uh, start making uh, some more quests actually starting more quests but we have this research is is different um, different technology trees that are really really cool and they they come in the in the um, uh, in the form of, of quests. So basically you click here one of the research, uh, you show you click show the tree and what you have here is different things that you can start working on. Shipbuilding is related to the map. Oh we have a deer over there. This is nice. Uh, it's related to the um, uh, to the water mod that I added but all of the other things are just uh, what we uh, what we will have in, in, in a vanilla installation of medieval engineers. So basically we are going to start uh, picking one of these. So we are going to start with basic wooden house. Uh, we have an available thing because we still need to work on this. But this is the, the first that we are going to do. Uh, if you don't want to start with that, you can go to economic engineering. There, there we have a tree, obviously. Uh, we have also all refining and basic housing. Um, this is kind of nice too. You can do basic house with logs. Uh, then uh, what you can do is in military engineer. We have a lot of things where we can build palaces. We can start the path of war uh, to know how to unblock these things. Um, the tutorial actually is is asking us to complete the um, to ch just choose one of the one of the of the research so we are going to start with um, with the basic wooden house this is really nice we are going to do this start quest there we are so now we need to obtain two wooden sticks that we already have and the, the tutorial is saying that we obtained already two wooden sticks we all need to obtain four timber and obtain six planks so I'm going to come here I'm going to get all of that we obtain already the four timbers, but we need to work on some of the of the planks. So to craft planks, you come here again, and here you have the plank. And we need one timber for this. Let's just use five and let's just craft one, two, three, four, and five, maybe. So one timber gives you five planks. I'm going to take those five, five planks and I'm going to leave this working on its own so we can figure this out. I'm not doing anything here, but I have five, five planks over there. We need, actually we need six. We come here and this is continuing, as you can see. Let's just wait and we get those 20. And now we have everything that we need. Uh, the tutorial now is asking us to place a wooden stairs and build one wooden stairs. So we are going to switch to our quick bar there for construction and uh, we are going to go we we'll press she and uh, we need to put a wooden stairs so basically we are now selecting this and if you approach you can see that it kind of snaps over there and uh, you need to be on white so I'm going to place it over there because I want to make um, and use this uh, this foundation that we have here as the base of, of the house too. So we place one wooden stairs and now we need to build this one. So we switch and we go to the mallet and we start knocking this down. I'm knocking, but just hammering it. <laughs> there we are, awesome. Obtain 16 timber now and um, we need four wooden sticks. So we are going to knock this, this tree down because we need some more and it's the closest thing that we have over here. There we are. We are going to chop this completely down. I don't want to leave any, any rests of it. 
and then we are going to process it all over into 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 timber because we are really going to use that. If we need some logs, we can we can definitely get some more. We are really close to the to the woods. One of the things that it's important to do. Again, we have another another sound there. I hope I, I haven't knocked down any other tree. There we are. All right. One of the things that I, I was saying it's important, guys, to do is um, to knock uh, knock down any of these small trees. For example, this one. So basically, this tree is going to grow. Uh, if we press F, we are going to house this small tree. We are going to do some. Uh, some tests while we while we play this tutorial. I really want to explore all the mechanics and explain to you guys. But basically, basically, um, all of the plants over here are going to grow. But they actually has a have a, a growing cycle. Uh, and if you remember, if I gather from the bush and I leave it like this, this bush will actually grow again from from this uh, from this uh, roots over here. But if I do this, I'm just killing it. The thing is, those roots actually are good for for crafting the initial food um, food dish that we that you. It's a salad basically, and you need to combine this and gather some other stuff. Um, we are going to do that now, so I can show you this. We are going to gather this berry bush, and this one actually is still a berry bush. So I'm going to leave it like that because this one is going to grow. If we check this up, this is the first bush. I'm going to, and it's closer to the um, uh, to the stockpile over there. We are going to keep an eye open on this one, and you are going to see that maybe in in some future episodes this is going to be uh, full again with berries if we wait enough. So let me show you this. Now this is green because we have the ingredients that we can use. I click there, and uh, there's all sort of combinations that you can use there. But basically, with those two, we can craft our dish there. We're going to leave it crafting while we continue doing this. So we finish um, working on the log over here. Let's just get that. There we are. I think it's every time I approach the the tree log here. See, I approach it and I think I. I just touch it or something and, and it makes the noise again. Alright. There we are. And we have this. And we have that. Awesome. So, now that we have this, we are going to come to our... To our crafting table. And let me check the... So we need 16 timber. And we have a lot of sticks. So basically, let's just go to the timber. Uh, let's just add one of these and craft this. Maybe I can I can put some more. Let's just put everything here and um, I have some timber. Let's just one, two, three, four, and five. And this is going to process. We are going to leave all the other ones over there. Obtain sixteen timber. Did I obtain the timber or not? No, not yet. I need to remove one. There we are. So it completes. Just leave that one there. And now we need to place four wooden supports. So we already have one, but that doesn't count for the um, for the tutorial. And uh, we are going to go into the building. Uh, and you over there. And we are going to point over to the other one. And once we get that. I'm going to pull like this. I'm going to make. Let's just see. Yes, this is to. I'm going to to make it a little bit bigger. Let's just let's just do a two by six. Although we are okay um, for the tutorial, I want you to, to have this a little bit bigger. If you go over here, you can walk on top of this, but uh, it's uh, I don't know if if they can break really. Uh, never happened to me, um, but I haven't played so much uh, since since the update. So let's just start building this. Let's build all the supports over here. And uh, this, guys, this is this is done. Let me just finish with with this, 
and we are going to finish this part of the um, of the tutorial. It's going to be enough for the first episode, I guess. We are almost on, on 30 minutes here, but this is basically the, the mechanics. I'm going to be doing all of this um, and completing. Once we have this one, we are going to be almost done. There we are. Perfect. So now we have to obviously continue and doing so more stuff, but I'm going to continue on my own here, guys. Maybe maybe finishing that one, and we are going to see each other in the next episode, guys. Thanks for being there. I hope you are liking the episode so far. And uh, if you do, drop a like, a comment, a share, and subscribe to the channel if you are new over here. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me just do this. And let me say to you, goodbye with the mallet. Bye-bye, <laughs> guys. See you the next time.